Is this Buzz? The other 51? Yes, this is Buzz 1151. The butler? What? Mr. Applockett's butler. Mr. Applockett's butler? Did you not know he proposed marriage to me? Mr. Applockett? <laughs> yes. Okay. My name is Betty Witt. Betty? Yes. It is urgent that I speak to him. Okay. Can I Skype him? Skype? Yes. Well, uh, call him at buzz.1151. Oh, goody. I'll make sure he's here. Okay? Thank you, Mr. Butler. Toodles. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Mr. Applockett's butler. Come here, you. Me? What? What do you want? Did you propose to some woman? What business is it of yours? Well, some woman named Betty called and asked for you. Betty? <laughs> she wants to talk to you on Skype. Skype? Oh, no. Tell me, what's the story on this? Well, I sent a letter to Betty, but I sent Hackbar's picture instead of mine. Oh, Dickle. Yeah? Betty Witt's on Skype to talk to you. Betty Witt? Who's Betty Witt? Isn't she your fiance? No, I proposed to Betty White. She's waiting, lover boy. Oh, man. Crap. Yoo-hoo, Mr. F. Lockett. This is Mr. F. Lockett. Why are you wearing a mask? I'm bashful. Eleven, right. Welcome to part eleven. I hope you can stick around for the finish. Today, we're going to, uh, I'm going to clean this mechanism. This is where the dial glass fits into. Like that. A lot of crud in here. I'm gonna clean all that. And we'll clean up the dial glass. Then do it. And we'll uh, we'll install it and see what it looks like. Presto. Presto. Looks good, huh? Not bad for an old man. Nice and shined up like a brand new penny. But I do have a couple of problems here. When I originally took this out. Yes. Uh, there's supposed to be two tabs holding this in. Ah, yes. Because if it's, if it's turned upside down, it's going to slide out. So what? And uh, one, one of those tabs was missing, and, and this one here was so weak it... it huh? You can see it, it just broke off, so I'm going to have to... Uh, you broke it, you fix it. Put something here so I can uh, secure this on top here. What are you going to do, big guy? And uh, let me go dig around and see what I can come up with. I'm just going to use a couple of paper clips, one for each side. Oh, brother! Just going to cut the paper clip. And I'll cut you to pieces. Just going to put it on. I need something underneath here. That's a lovely accent you have. New Jersey? Austria. Austria? <laughs> well then, <laughs> good day, mate. <laughs> Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. Let's not. I can just bend that over like that. Okay, I got one here. I got uh, one here. I'm put the glass in. Oh my gosh, does that suck? Okay, not fancy. Now let's see how well you handle it. Glass won't come out if it's turned upside down. Okay, this slides back and forth. And it needs some grease on it. So 
Well, I'm just going to use white lithium grease. It's as loose as goose grease. It's slicker and snide. Let's get the excess off it. Here's this piece. All right, give me the damn piece. Let's see if it fits. So it goes like that. Here's where it says the A band here. It's just a piece of green thing. I gotta take that off. How do you take it off? Clean that. Aha! Uh -huh. I guess I'll try some uh, some uh, Gojo and. Gojo? Some other cleaner on that. We'll pop back in when I got it done. Okay, it's looking nice. Nice beaver. I started off uh, with Gojo. It was quite dirty. And then I uh, rinsed it off with warm water, dried it out, used some uh, Brasso on it. And uh, after that was polished, I used this Lucas uh, Slick Mist. Now I recommend this for if you have uh, radios that you painted, want to keep them shiny, just spritz that uh, every few months on it, and it, it works great. I recommend it. It's nice and shiny. This cleaned up good. You can see that real nice. It'll look good once the light in the back comes on. Okay, we're going to put the, uh, the dial glass in. You only had three screws to begin with, so I just found another one. What would you just be careful? Maybe that'll fit. Okie dokie, that's in. Let's turn it around. How long hast thou been grave maker? Oh, the towel's falling down. Okay, I think we can put in the, uh, the grill cloth board, so I'll go get that. Here's our grill cloth board. Neato! Let me get it up there. And I'll show you that when I'm done. Well, I just realized that uh, I can't put that on yet. Why? Uh, I gotta get these holes. <laughs> Give me a match. We'll burn them out. Burnt out. I'm gonna use a soldering iron here. Okay, I'm gonna take this pin. I'm gonna mark where... Uh, mark it what? Where the holes are. I already did this one. You see that... Yes. That's a little bit darker there. Come on, I ain't got all day. Okay, I got all four of them. What an absurd idea. What an absurd idea. Let's see what we can do with the iron. It's a laser and I'll burn a hole right through you. Okay, be careful. Oh, don't shoot. Alright. Okay, we got it in there. Let's turn it around so you can see what it looks like. <laughs> Ta-da! You know this is a no good. Looks, the green looks good. Uh, oh, brother. Contrasts with that. <laughs> uh, it looks pretty good. It looks better than it did. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay, here's a chore that I need to do. I'm all ears. Remember these uh, little station identification thingies that go on the radio? I kind of touched them up a little bit with some markers, but uh, I need to protect them. So I'm going to... Uh, clear coat them and uh, we'll see what happens what are you wanting development with is <laughs> you big dummy little technical air there I must remember that the spray We'll blow them away. I 
call it bold talk for a one-eyed fat man. We'll try it again with a little bit farther away. It's a losing fight. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put in a uh, a 20 ohm uh, power resistor to reduce the line voltage, and of course I'm going to put a fuse in here. Sorry, I blew a fuse, sir. Uh, this cord here looks like it's in good condition. I'm going to use use the same cord. I'll probably put the fuse over here. There's a hole there. And as far as this is concerned, it may go something like that. This looks like a job for Super Chicken. These are little rubber grommets, and they are pushed into the hole. Okay, what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to tie, they call it an underwriter's knot. You've all heard of Underwriter's Laboratory? Well, I guess it was named after them. Although it's also called an electrician's knot. Okay now, watch carefully. Let's take this and make a loop like this. Then I'm going to take this, this one, put it around here, like that. Watch this! And put this through this. The mighty chicken had done it again. What you got there is this little loop here. And you just... Should come out pretty even like that. So when it's against here, it's so good. But what I also like to do is just tie another knot down here. It's a regular knot. What's it called? They call that the underwriter's buzz knot. <laughs> so it's here, and it's not going to be pulled out. Remember that. Underwriters buzz not. Someday I'll have me a chauffeur and a block long limousine EO eleven. EO eleven. Someday I'll have me a penthouse. Stacks and stacks of full and green. EO-11 EO-11 It's all a state of mind Whether or not you find That plays down there Or heaven In the meantime EO-11 EO I had me a dream, but that dream got kicked in the head. Dream dead. I nearly had me that chauffeur and that block long limousine, EO 11. Stacks of full and green E-11 Eleven. Eleven Some judge is gonna say I'm putting you
Okie dokie, we've got the uh, power resistor mounted, and of course we've got the fuse mounted. There's a fuse in it! Uh, I've got a gator wire hooked up to one side of the AC. Be careful! I'm going to connect that to here. And I'm going to plug the... make sure this is off. It's off. I said turn that thing on and shut up! I'm going to plug the... AC cord in directly into the wall. Okay. Alright. I'm going to turn it on. Hey, duck and cover. My dear Watson, you astound me. And since the other side of the AC feeds directly into this, so we're going to measure the AC coming out of the wall here. Alright, we got 121.3. Okay. So the AC goes through here, comes out over here, connecting to the fuse. So I'm going to check the fuse, and this is what this is the power that's going into the radio. 111, which is just about what I wanted. I found out that these things run just as good. You could even have this 100 volts, and it will still run okay. Yes. And. Uh, 111 is good, it won't stress out uh, the tubes or the transformer. Radio works good without an antenna. I hope you enjoyed that. And we're going to wrap this, uh, this RCA up next week in episode 12. Wow. Gonna wrap it up. Okay, okay, wrap it up. <laughs>